gentlemen on YouTube everybody out there YouTube land this is Philip 20 out here and I'm gonna show you something I've got some tools on the ground here on the roof and a little bit of stuff over there let's take a closer look here let's take a look oh man yes look at that Can you believe that? Well, it's expanding quite well, I do say. I haven't gotten none of the cables tied up yet. Um, I'm doing some tests with it. I'm trying to do some tests with uh, the power output of this string of panels versus the rest of them individually. I'm trying to see uh, how much power this string makes versus these strings because I want to make sure that uh, my charge controller isn't giving me any trouble and I'll let you know how it comes up be back in a few so ladies and gentlemen it appears that the uh, arrays are very much identical in the power output even the new one doesn't have a, any power difference than the rest of them so that makes me think that I'm still having trouble with the charge controller I mean I'm still making a lot of power but uh, previously I was making more than what I'm making now when I added three panels and today it's 70 degrees so uh, you know I seen it jump up earlier this morning around 12 something to about 3,500 watts um, and then it went back down. It was a cloud spike, I think. But before, it used to uh, maintain 96 amps coming out of the charge control, which is about 2,800 watts. And now I'm making about 2,700. So it's, uh, it's a work in progress. I'm thinking I'll send in the charge controller um, whenever it gets uh, cooler, uh, shorter days. Shorter days, it means less power. Uh, I'll get what I can out of it. Till then, right now, it's making enough power. It's making pretty good power. So, uh, I really enjoy it so far. Um, here's the thing. I, I'm, I'm just going to get down straight to the point. I really think that uh, if you go 24 volts... Your charge controller will get really hot if you put a lot of power through it. When your charge controller gets really hot, it tears up the MOSFETs. Because that's what's getting hot inside your charge controller. Those MOSFETs are basically little tiny transistors that turn on and off. You know, a thousand times a second to uh, send power through a certain circuit. Then your diodes that are inside of there. Because I'm pretty sure it transforms it to alternating current steps down the voltage and then puts it back into direct current because you can't uh, reduce power i mean you, you can't reduce voltage on dc very well i mean it's very difficult to do that's what transformers are very very efficient of you know for instance you got a transformer on the pole it sends 10,000 volts into the transformer and you got 250 volts coming out of it or whatever the voltage is coming into the transformer um I think it's uh, 7,250 volts going into them. The transformer's on the poles over there. But uh, 3,750 watts, and I'm receiving at 2 o'clock or so, um, 2,700. Uh, today I was receiving a peak with just 3,000 watts hooked up of 3,500, and then it went right back down. I mean, it peaks well, but it doesn't maintain that temperature. And I, I remember somebody mentioned a comment before I cut that pipe down a little bit. Uh, you can see where the shadow of the disconnect box is on the pipe. So I'd say it may come over, over there. 
if it does then I'll have to scoot them all up a little bit uh, at least this row here I don't know if I if I like that or not I might you know change the wire that goes inside and move it down over here and just mount it right there that way uh, makes it uh, pretty simple of course then I'd need a combiner box right there I'm not sure how I'm gonna end up doing that um, we'll figure out something though I mean whatever it takes uh, this is just a quick view of what I've done I've you know done my own crimping on my own connectors I'm gonna show you guys here soon about the crimpings you see these two bags I'll I'll, sh I'll waste a crimp just to show you guys how to do a crimp how I do the crimps uh, it's really simple and works really well so 3750 watts now up and running I just need to find my clamps that hold the hold them on the solar panels um, wherever they may be I've got to search this is Phil 20 with solar power electricity and electronics I'm gonna holler at y'all later peace hello lazy to get gentlemen thanks for watching all the way to the end of the video there's lots more content coming click the subscribe button below make sure you come back for more because there's great content always coming up every day in this channel see you next time peace